I want you to rededicate your life to God. Again. If you are repeating one sin, run forward and stand here. Don't look, don't look at anybody. Look at yourself. Say, I'm looking at myself. And Satan is holding that. As you are coming here, I know God is lifting you. As we are going to pray this prayer, be sincere to yourself and understand the words that you are going to utter today that you will never and never ever do the same thing, the mistake that you are doing. Let us say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am coming unto you. Today I want to change. Father, I am a sinner. I've been looking good from the outside. Inside, I am dirty. I am not righteous. I'm still living with sin. Each and every day of my life, I live in sin. But today, Father God, I am coming to you. I want to repent for my sins. I want to live a holy life. From today, Father, I confess by my mouth that I will live a righteous life. I will live a holy life. I'm stopping this life of sin. That leads me nowhere. I want to live according to your word. I want to live according to your commandments. I want to follow you all the days of my life. From today, Father, I am your son. I am your daughter. I am your child. I am a new creature. The old is past. The new has come. From today, Father, I believe in your son. I believe in the cause of Calvary. I believe in the remission of sins. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. You can go, you can go back and sit down. Congratulations. It's because their stomach are full. You know when people are exercising like this? It's because of what they are eating. If they were not eating good food, they could not do that. So even yourself, there's a way you can train yourself in the things of God. The reason why you'll be doing like this on the road, it means there are some things you need to lose because you felt you have exercised too much, you have eaten too much. And now that's what we have done here. You cannot wait for the time of pulpit. Are you hearing me? You must know that the blood of Jesus has been poured for you. You cannot wait for the time of... Now that you came here, you know, Satan is still going to come back to you. Show him where he come from. Show him the door. Tell him that I'm a child of God. I went forward there. I've accepted Jesus to be... Are you hearing me? You cannot wait for the time where... What if it will be too late? What if it will be too late? You cannot wait for the whole night. You become angry the whole night. What if now, one o'clock, you have to die? The moment when you realize I'm angry, no, no, this thing is not right. Are you hearing me? Uh, the moment you realize something like that, you will just say, no, God, forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I don't want to do like this. We normally entertain things with our mind. Our mind here, yeah, there's a battleground. It's a battleground here. Yeah. The moment you see this is happening, this, no, 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 tell yourself, no, I'm a child of God. You crush every thought that exalts itself against the word of God. If you do that, you live a holy life. Satan will never leave you. Will never. Even the Bible says, he turn around, he turn around. To seek whom he can what? Devour. Will never leave you. If you want to see, look at your state. Look at yourself today. You are in a place where you are working the job that you have never studied. Satan will never leave you. 
because he knows your family. He knows where you come from. But Satan, you can resist him. The Bible says, resist him, you will flee. Are you hearing me? You, you, you check your mind. You say, no, me, I cannot do this. Me, you are resisting. Casting that Satan away. He will never, because even when he goes away from you, he can go away five kilometers, but he will be coming in a very high speed. So you must, you must be able to resist him, my child of God. You quote the scriptures, and you cannot overcome Satan without the word. You must be able to know, I mean, your grounds of resisting him by quoting the scriptures. But if you just say, ah, no, get that in my phone, get that in my phone, get that change a SIM card, get that change a SIM card. If you, are, you want to do something like that, I'm telling you, Satan will just say, get out. You get out. You meet the person. You meet now 99 nine now. The person you are avoiding on the phone, you will meet 99 nine with the person. You must never think. The Bible says Satan is crafty. If you want to see Satan is crafty, check how many friends you had before. Not all of them came to you because of the things of God. But they were coming to destroy you. Are you aware now that the decision you have taken here is taking you far? But Satan will never leave you. I'm not preaching Satan. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because after you've accepted here, you are still going to sleep on the same bed. You are still going to open the same fridge, which is having only water. Don't expect God to fill that fridge. Your salvation has got nothing to do with materials. Materials is the response of your relationship with God. Your salvation, here. Yeah. You are saying, I want to go to heaven. Can I tell you this? Now, when you seek God more, all these things that you are searching will follow you. Seek the kingdom, all shall follow. Not your salvation. After that, your salvation, you are with God. You start to love God, fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me? So now, God will say, no, my child must have this. My child.